So who or what is the Night Rider? Can you relate to it? I hope so. Because the Night Rider is not a person, it's a spirit. It's the spirit that causes you to see a child and say, that's our future. We must nurture them. An elderly citizen and say, that's our history. We must protect them. It's the spirit that causes you to see your flag and say, that's the flag of my country. I must defend her, respect her laws, regardless of my agreement or disagreement, and use the freedom she gives me responsibly. The Night Rider is the feeling that wells up in you when you see justice done, unconditional love extended, and undeserved mercy bestowed. The Night Rider is the sound, sight, taste, smell, and touch of the strength we have. When we come together in patriotism rather than politics, spirituality rather than religion, and community rather than isolation, the Knight Rider is the extension of a hand to all in search of truth with no regard to race, creed, or national origin. The Knight Rider is the humility of the question rather than the arrogance of the answer. It's the spirit that hates extremism in all its forms in recognition of the fact that all have something to contribute to the search for realistic solutions to the problems of our day. The Night Rider is the buoyancy that lifts truth to the surface for a gasp of air in a sea of lies and the anchor that drives cruelty and exploitation to the drowning bottom of a sea of vulnerabilities. It's the determination to defend the right of citizens to speak their minds and to lawfully live out the choices they make, even those we loathe and whose positions, opinions, and lifestyles we'd spend a lifetime opposing. The Night Rider is the spirit of recognition that God extends to each of us a choice whom we shall serve and respects that choice, so to emulate him, we must do likewise. The Night Rider is the difference between a dream that is dreamt and one that is realized. To the victim, the face of the Night Rider is sublimely and angelically tender. To the persecutor, a flaming skull. Touch the night rider is to kiss the forehead of a child, scratch behind a dog's ear, hold the hand of a fearful senior. To hear the night rider is to hear the intuitive still voice that can't come from the head or heart but rises from the soul. To see the night rider is to view the scars of adversity converted to the muscle tissue of determination to go on in greater service to God. To experience the night rider is to affirm the frailty an incalculable incompetency of self to judge anyone but self. To rest hopes, fears, and retribution in the hands of a greater being and to commit random, spontaneous, and completely senseless acts of kindness in an increasingly unkind world. To view the universe through the eyes of the Knight Rider is to view with contempt the fallacy of the reality humanity supposes to be real and the inverted reality God knows to be truth. 
The Knight Rider is the spirit that calls all humanity to discard racism, partisan politics, religious bigotry, greed, fear, and ignorance, and come together in defense of those things that truly matter. The question I pose you is this. Are you the Knight Rider? Mm-hmm.